Hello everyone, welcome to Math Plot Lab. So today we'll be moving towards to the another plot called Box Plot. It is similar to the previous sessions what we go with like the scatters, you have a pie chart. So this is also a one type of plots like bo Box Plot. Let's see to understand how we have to use this, how the Box Plot look like in a Math Plot Lab. So we start with the importing part. So import Math Plot Lab, Math plot lib dot pi plot dot pi plot as plt so importing it's done when you're done with your importing it is running so after the importing we need to import numpy also because we need uh things from the numpy like numerical values something so we just import numpy import numpy as np as np so my importing are done now let's take uh, some random values for the to creating a data set so we are just using the np because the, with the help of numpy we just create some random data sets so random dot seats so this is the way how we are doing if you have a doubts how we are using random or seats you can move to the sessions of your numpy session where we already go with the concept of random seats we can go through there to brushen up the things there or you, if you know about that you can uh, go ahead just use the random dot seats the keywords to create it so i need it to uh, suppose 20 so, so i'm giving the random values let's move to using the data creation data one equals to np dot random r a n d o m random dot normal normal and then how many values you want to give suppose i'm going with a hundred first hundred comma ten comma two hundred so that's the values uh we just want to give there you can go with any values i'm just going with data two now the second one data two equals to np dot random dot normal random dot normal and then we are moving to going with another value just 90 comma it's like i'm giving it's like 190 or you can go with 20 20 like uh 180 then 10 20 the last one i'm giving the same 200 and then moving to the data 3 data 3 equals to np dot random np dot random dot normal normal now the same way i just give 80 now i'm moving towards to the 60 comma 30 30 and then go with the 200 and then the data 5 data will be created creating now so data 4 equals to np dot random we are just going with random dot normal it's going with normal and the normal also you have to go with the 40 the second step 40 comma 40 40 comma 200 and then we are moving to the data 5 data 5 so we created 5 data here and p dot random random dot normal just go ahead with the normal and the normal we are going with the 20s and then 50 comma 200 so our data sets are created properly now move to say store somewhere so we store in data data equals to the first one data one comma data two so how many datas you created we are just storing in the datas there data two then we are moving to data three then we are moving to data four and the last one data five so we are having the five data here so data five so we saved it in a particular things in a data after that we just go with the like figure size or you can go with any variable names i go with var equals to plt because from the plt you can plot it now the figure because we need to use the figure so we just go with gore figure here you can provide the figure size like what is the figure size you want to give so i'm going with fix size fix size and the figure size you can provide it this particular area i'm giving 10 comma 7 so the figure size is done so if you don't want to give the figure size you can skip this part so it's not a compulsory thing so it's just to create the figure in that particular size we use this figure size on that let's move to creating the x's for that particular so i'm using x axis to x equals to 
I'm going with the var dot add access so add access I hope now you are clear with the access to how to create it the same here also we are creating the access and as we know we need it in other format on that four coordinates so we are going with zero zero one comma one so my four coordinates are done I'm giving in the access to the created this four coordinate now we need to create a plots the main thing is to use a box plot for the box plots I'm just using the keywords called box equals to x dot because in x we give this coordinate values so x dot for the box plot we use a keyword called box plot so x dot box plot and now here you have to pass the data from where you have to take here i save all the data so just passing the value of that data and now it's show time we just need to show the plots how it looks plt dot show so remember this is how we have to use it to show the particular thing what we done we just import those things and then we are just creating a database now whatever the things we are doing we are just creating a database you are using a box plot so in the further session i'll show you one thing like with the using of all the different plot if you have any particular database already existing database like your dot csv file you can use that as well to show all the data uh, like all your plots so here we just create the database here so this is my creation of database it's nothing but i'm creating a data set here like here i'm we are just creating a data set so this is what like we are creating data set then we are using to plot with the help of box plot let's run this first yeah you can see this this is the output for this I just zoom out so it will be more better for to understand you see uh, when you zoom out this yeah so you can observe this this is the five plots because I use this data one data two three four five so this is my four five data and this is where we how the box plots its look and I already give the coordinates like all zero zero one one coordinates also we gave so with this we can work on the box plot in the existing data sets also the till now whatever the plots we learn like your scatter your grid your pie chart everything you can use it for existing data sets also so thank you